Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started Swift UI 4 introduces the new photo picker view which helps developer easily to introduce this feature to import photo in their app from users photo library. First, we take dive inside the new photos UI library introduced in Swift UI 4. To use the new photos picker, you need to import photos UI library. Then inside the body of Swift UI view, add photos picker view. Photo picker view will take these parameters first in the selection which stores the photo from the picker view. Then we can give an optional parameter of max selection count which limits the number of the selected item inside the picker view. Then there is a matching parameter inside it we can provide the type of item we want from the picker view like images, videos, live photos etc. Finally there is a label parameter which will take any view into it to show inside the app screen. Then add two states one for the photo selected from the picker view which conforms to the photo's picker item. Another state will be a data. So these are the new API introduced inside the photo's UI. Let's now take a look at our app demo which we are making here. There's a simple photo album app. On the toolbar there is a button to open the photo picker view. By tapping it open the photo picker. Now select the photo you want to select. In this app we set a limit to select only 5 photos you can increase the limit. Then tap add. Here we can see that our image appears inside the grid. So let's now build this app. To use this new API, Swift UI 4 introduces the Photo UI library. First, import this library. Then create a state variable to store the selected image from the photo picker. Confirms it to photo picker item, assign it as optional and equal it to nil. Then create another state variable as selected image data which confirms to data class. Assign it as optional and initially it will be nil value. Inside the body, instead of V stack, add a navigation view. Then inside it, create another V stack. Then add a toolbar modifier to V stack. Then inside it, add photo picker view. Add its parameter. First, add selection as binding of photo picker item, which we already have created as a state variable. Then add label. Inside a label, create an image view. Add tint as mint color and font to size of title size two. Now work on import functionality to do so. Add on change modifier below the photo picker view. In the on change modifier parameter, add a selected image variable. Then inside it, add a new const value in. Then add a task closure. We add task closure here because the function used to load images inside the app is an async function. Then inside it, add an if let block as data and use an optional try and await for the load function. 
then inside the load transferable function parameter add type as data of self. Then add a closure and equal our selected image variable to the data we get from the picker view. We do this because the image type only supports public.png as its content type. If the photos picker contains assets of type other than PNG such as JPEG or HEIC, we will not be able to retrieve it. Until Apple adds more content type supports to image, it is still advisable to use data when retrieving images from the photos picker. After getting the data from the photo library, we are going to show the image inside the VStack. First, check that if the selected image value is not equal to nil. Then we create a constant as UI image, which is equal to UI image, which takes the data as a parameter. Inside it, pass a selected image data variable. Then add an image view with UI image as a parameter. and add some modifier of resizable and aspect ratio as fill. Then for the else block, we are going to show a text view. Let's now test our app. Here we can see that our image has appeared inside the image view. We can also add a parameter of matching inside the photo speaker view to only show certain categories of images of videos like the screenshot, live images, portraits, etc. Now let's make our app support multiple images. To do so, we have to make some adjustment to this app. First, change our state variable and add the selected image as an array of photo picker items, which is initially an empty array. Similarly, we have made a selected image data state also as an array and set it initially as an empty array. Then we check that a selected image data array count is greater than zero. We are going to show images. If not, we show the text. Inside the if block, add a scroll view. Then inside it, add a lazy V grid, add a column parameter of an array of a grid item. Initialize the grid item and add an adaptive view with a minimum width of 200. Similarly, add another grid item. Then inside it, add a for each loop. Add selected image data as a parameter and ID as self. Then inside for each block, we check using if block that there is a data inside the array item or not. If the data item value is not equal to nil, then we create a constant as UI image which is equal to UI image class which takes the data as a parameter inside it pass a selected image data variable. Then add an image view with UI image as a parameter. Add some modifier of resizable. 
add frame modifier of height of 150. Also add aspect ratio as a fill. And finally add a corner radius. Then inside the on change modifier, inside the task closure, First, we set our selected image data array as an empty array because every time when we open the image picker, it automatically adds duplicate data. Then, create a for loop for each new item as an item. Then we load transferable data from the item constant. And finally append the data inside the array. Let's now test our app. Here we can see that we can easily add images from the photo speaker view. Add navigation title. Add a spacer below the else block. Then add a text view which shows the count of the photo inside the selected image data array. And add spacer inside the else block above the text view. Now inside the photo picker structure, add a parameter of maximum selection count and set it as 5. Now test the app. Here we can see that we won't be able to select more than 5 images. Add some padding inside the scroll view. So this is how the new photo speaker view works inside Swift GUI 4. Recording is on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Make a small contribution or donations to help us grow our medium. We still offer free content on YouTube and other writing platforms. Also, don't worry, there are other ways to support us. Share us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media formats with your friends and ask them to subscribe. The links are inside the description box. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.